This fight here is the best fight that can be made at the junior welterweight division. If the PBC was smart, they would deliver this fight to the fans because the boxing fans want action. This fight right here would deliver just that. Now, I think Gary Antoine Russell wins this fight. Hold on, hold on. Before y'all come at me, let me explain why I believe this. We all know both of these fighters are heavy hitters. Gary Antoine Russell has knocked out everybody that he fought. Sabrina Matias has knocked out everybody that he's fought. So we know that they're heavy hitters. However, Gary Russell has speed, footwork, and he has a pretty good defense, an underrated defense to be exact. Sabrina Matias, he gets hit a lot and that's his weakness. Him getting hit a lot is Gary Antoine Russell's strength because Gary Antoine Russell does let his hands go. Supreme Matias doesn't have defense. He gets hit a lot. However, he does have that great equalizer, his punching power. When you watch Supreme Matias' uh, fights, his opponents always makes the mistake by staying in the pocket too long. They end up getting themselves into a slug fest with a slugger and they get clipped you know, uh, by a punch that they don't see because they're in the middle of exchanging with a slugger. That is Supreme Matias' strength. He gets fighters caught up in his fight and he usually catches opponents in an exchange. Gary Antoine Russell has fast hands and he also has punching power. And like I said a minute ago, Gary Antoine Russell do have underrated defense. Oh, and not to mention, he does have great footwork. And so, with all that, I will have to favor Gary Antoine Russell because of his speed, his underrated defense, and his footwork. Those three things alone is a nightmare for Sapir Matias. Now, I'm not saying Sapir Matias can't beat Gary Antoine Russell. What I am saying that if this fight were to go 12 rounds, I will favor Gary Antoine Russell because of those three physical attributes that he do have. Speed, defense, and footwork. Sapir Matias, he kind of relies on his heavy hands. Now, if he can't hit Gary Antoine Russell, which I'm not saying he won't, but I just think that he'll get hit a lot while trying to land one of his big punches on Gary Antoine Russell. And like I said a minute ago, Gary Antoine Russell can deliver big shots as well. He is a big puncher. Gary Antoine Russell hits just as hard as Sapir Matias. And again, he has faster hands. So I will favor Gary Antoine Russell in the fight uh, between him and Sapir Matias.